Hi everybody, it's Amy from Bargain Beauty. So if you saw my last Goodwill haul, you saw that I hauled five of these gold candle pillars. So what I decided to do was just use paint I had around the house. I didn't buy any new paint. I just used what I had. Everyone said in the comment section, well not everyone, but the majority said that I should add some color and not just do them all black. So that's what I did, but you guys know I'm an extreme cheapskate, so I just used what I had around the house. So I painted the kitchen this blue color, so I had this still in the house, so I used that on one of the pillars. I used gray, which I used the gray from mixing the black and white samples that I had had. I got these last year, and I got them for I think like 99 cents a piece or free. I don't remember. The video's old. Um, I did a video on it, and it was on my Facebook page, but it was a long time ago. So that paint I was just kind of using to the black and white to touch up like furniture and stuff like that in the house, and then that middle color... I had actually bought for my daughter's room for a wooden jewelry box, but we never actually used it. Um, I think I bought it. I think they were 99 cents a piece. I'm almost, huh? I think. I, I, with over 600 videos, guys, I can't really go back and find that video. It's like I'd be on page 15. So I think they're around 99 cents a piece. But anyway, I didn't want to go out and buy any more products because then I felt like it wouldn't be as good of a deal, right? Because I got these for $2 a piece at Goodwill. So $10 total, and all of the paint I had on hand, and I had the paint brushes on hand as well. So all I have to do now is purchase candles, and these are still drying. I just finished painting them. They're drying pretty good. They're not wooden, so I had to do two coats because it's kind of like a cheap plasticky material. Um, but yeah, I think it's kind of cool, guys. I need to definitely arrange it a little bit differently when I put it on the fireplace, but what I'm going to do is... I'm going to have you guys watch this part of the video, and then I had the in-store footage where I actually found the gold pillars. I'm going to put that in between, and then at the end, I'm going to actually film once I get candles and put it together and put it on the fireplace. But I just wanted to show you kind of where I'm at. Now, I did... I know I said I wanted to do color, but I had to do neutral colors somewhat so that it still kind of matched in with everything. And I, like I said, a couple of times I do, didn't want to buy any paint. So I used what I had, but I did one white, one gray, um, one the same as my kitchen blue, one of the greenish minty tur turquoise color, I don't know. Um, and then one black. Let's see if this has a color. Um... I don't, I don't have the swatch anymore, so I don't know the exact color of that. But these were just by um, HDVT Home Sherman Williams paint samples. So you can get them pretty much Lowe's or Home Depot. All right, guys, so this is what they look like so far. I'm going to show you that video now, and then I am stuck a little bit. I'm not going to lie as to what color... Um, pillar candles to put in. Now I'm not going to go to the Dollar Tree because the Dollar Tree pillar candles are really tiny and I think these need a lot bigger of a pillar. I, I mean I think you guys would agree right? They need a big chunky pillar but like see that's a glass candle. I don't think I'm going to use these. They're just going to be for decorative purposes only so they don't need to be in like a glass jar but I think that it definitely needs like let's see I want to say <clears throat> that these pillars at the Dollar Tree would be more like that size. And I think they need a bigger, like I wanna make a bigger statement. So I think I'll do the pillars, but I don't know what colors to do. Like, should I mix up the colors or should I put just all like white? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not comfortable with things that don't all like match. Like. All black, all white, all blue, all like that's just what I'm used to. So I'm kind of gonna have to play around a little bit. And I was just gonna see if the paint got on there because it's still wet. Um, and see what to do. Knowing me, I'll end up with just all white ones. But let's see if I can mix and match some colors. I'll see what like Walmart has to offer because I don't want to spend a ton of money, but I think it'll be kind of cool. And um, hopefully, you guys like the end result. I was going to make these more rusted, but what I'm going to do is wait so I can get some of the wax. I don't have enough wax to finish this project. I had some at the house, um, but I don't have enough. So what I need to do is I'll find it on clearance or at Michael's on clearance or Walmart on clearance, and then that's when I'll do that part of the project because I'm not just going to go out and buy wax at full price um, to do that. So what I'll do is I'll kind of nick these up a little bit 
and then I'll put the wax over them later. So it's kind of going to be an evolution, but it was super calming to actually paint these and just kind of chill out. It was kind of fun. I'm super messy, so it definitely was messy. <laughs> and I didn't film it because I kind of just enjoyed the quiet. Birds were kind of going in the background. I was just kind of chilling at the table, just relaxing and painting my pillars. So I apologize that I didn't actually film the actual painting, but I'm a mess. You guys, it, you would have, it would have, I would have got on my camera it was all over my hands it was everywhere so all right guys stay tuned for the rest of the video and um, I hope you enjoy all right back with the candles but here's the thing I went to Walmart and they only had a three pack of the white and a three pack of the off-white and I needed five candles so my Walmart is really small and they don't always have a ton of stock so I kind of get a little hung up sometimes I went to like different places I didn't want to spend a ton of money so what did I do I shot my stockpile so my stockpile had this is two years ago now I have these candles and I have them all over the house they're just the you know the battery operated candles and they actually have um, the remotes, so you can actually remote put them on and stuff like that. It came like a whole set with like votives and stuff like that. So anyway, this is two sets. They're originally $19.99. I got them for 90% off at Rite Aid for, like I said, Christmas two years ago, so they were $1.99. Super good deal. I told you guys, I stockpile on more stuff than just food. Like I stockpile on things that I know that I'll use, even if I don't need them right now. Um, I love candles everywhere and I really love battery operated candles because with my Chiari sometimes I will forget to put them out so it's much better option for me to have the battery operated one so anyway I didn't pay anything for these candles so two years ago I did I paid four dollars instead of forty dollars so that was really good but this is the um, end result guys and it's not nighttime so I can't light them up for you but they are really really pretty at night um, I turn off all the other lights in the room and just leave like the candles on and they it's really pretty and I'm really happy with the way they came out and I'm really glad that like everyone suggested color because I really love the different colors they're still like neutral colors but they're like different you know so this is the end result I hope you guys like it if I can get some wax on sale or clearance somewhere I will try and scuff them up and make them look a little more rustic but I gotta be honest like that was my initial plan but I kind of like them like this We'll see what happens. You never know with me. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Here is the end result. 
the long about way to get there, but we got there. All right, guys, bye-bye.